happy Wednesday, everyone. All right, well, I was able to kind of get things going and we're gonna start another collaboration. So I don't know how many videos this is gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be that many because I've already kind of started on this sign. This is for um, another influencer, actually an Instagram influencer. And I'll uh, let you know who that is somewhere down the road. Anyway, so uh, a couple of issues, something that, that I talked about that I'm gonna do brand new that I've, I've never done before. Well, I've been doing some testing, but I've never seen it done before. I'm actually going to make this sign. I'm gonna freehand carve this sign out of resin. This is a piece of, of half inch. Is it really glary? Yeah, no, it's fine. Half inch MDF. And I poured, um, this is kind of a white pearl resin, which it kind of looks like marble to me. So I really like it but I'm gonna actually freehand carve a sign out of this. So you can see on the edge, yeah, you can see it's half inch MDF there with this resin pour and it's about, I don't know, 3 16 of an inch thick, but I'm gonna do another pour on top of this. Now, what I'm gonna do is like we did on the LTS the other day, I'm actually gonna cut a shape out of this. It's not gonna be rectangle. This is the shape that I'm gonna cut. This is, um, actually the shape off of a off of a sticker and i'm going to cut this shape this is going to be cut in this shape i'm going to do it freehand with a router but i've got some issues <laughs> number one issue is the easiest way for me to do this would have been to bring it into rapid resizer make it the size i want and then print it out in tile however we had a big storm come through last night we're filming this actually on tuesday hopefully if the internet comes back on, you'll see this on Wednesday. But the, our internet's been down for about six, seven hours right now. And uh, without the internet, it's kind of tough to get on Rapid Resizer. So, uh, alternate plan is my wife, uh, she did her magic and she scanned this in the copier, brought it, put it on a flash drive, brought it into our printer that prints on our vinyl and she expanded it up and uh, printed it the size I needed it. So this is just a bigger version, same scale as uh, this little piece. So now I know you guys don't, most of you don't have availability to a, a vinyl printer, but you could do the same thing. <clears throat> and that's why I wanted to share this because if you don't have access to Rapid Resizer, you could do the same thing. Put it in your, um, scan it, put it on a flash drive, that's what Vicky did, and if you don't have access to print something like this, you can take it down to an Office Max or Staples or someplace like that, and they could print it out for you. Then you'd have it. Now, the other option was to print it uh, in tiles off of my copier, um, but that would have been a little tougher for us to do, um, and to figure out and put everything together. So, this is the way we're gonna do it. This is actually on our uh, adhesive vinyl. But before I do that, I've got to, and I don't know if you can see this, but being as uh, I put tape around here, this has got like a sharp edge on it. My router base would catch on that when I'm trying to cut my shape. So I've got to grind this, uh, this edge down. We're gonna move outside onto the patio and, uh, and take care of that in just a minute. So stick with us. All right, I just wanted to show you the guys this. This was one of my tests that I did. Yeah. Which way? Just kind of move it a little bit. Yeah, so and that, uh, that purple is just um, really, really cool. I'm gonna be doing another, um, another uh, video later on where I'm doing uh, with this purple. But anyway, this was done a little bit differently than the way I'm gonna do this one. But this is carved. It's absolutely carved in there, freehand carved. And, um, it's actually yellow spray paint, um, but I'll show you that. I'll show you guys that process on a different video. This one's going to be kind of the same, but a little bit different than what I did on this uh, little Vikings test. But I did probably, gosh, how many tests did I do? Five, Ten? Six, ten yeah, yeah, a bunch. Anyway, so what I've got to do now is I've got this sharp edge on here. I've already ground one side off. Now I'm gonna, I have to, and the reason I have to do that is because I don't want my router base, as I'm cutting my shape, I don't want my router base catching on this lip. Oh, there's the phone. 
Sorry about that. The phone rang and it may ring again. Anyway, um, so I'm just using a um, 80 grit uh, disc on my sander here and it grinds off pretty easy. So I don't know if you guys could notice, but I'm actually tilting that a little bit and just using this edge to grind that off. I didn't want it to get caught. Now in this particular instance, what I'm trying to avoid is scratching the surface of this. Um, it's not that critical on this because I'm just going to pour over this anyway on my uh, on my second pour. But um, all right, so we'll come right back. We'll get that uh, shape cut. All right, so I've got my shape. Uh, vinyl on my uh, on my piece and then I've taped around where I'm going to be cutting and the reason I put that and that's just packing tape the reason I do that is uh, to kind of keep it from burring up a little bit and it also helps the router base plate slide a little bit better so now what we're going to do um, we are going to use our uh, strip roll-on adhesive I showed this for the first time the other day on the, the LTS, and uh, this is just some roll-on adhesive, and I really like this stuff for sticking my piece down while I'm cutting. I think I'm going to do... Now, the other day, because I was cutting that live to ride shape, I used just kind of limited limited roll-on amounts but this time I think I really want and it worked really well but being as I'm cutting resin now I'm just not sure exactly how much hold down I need now I don't have to worry about this because the it'll stay in uh, in place on that rubber mat so yeah that'll work put this down so we're going to cut all the way through this thing in uh, hopefully just two passes. That should do it. All right. Now, what we're going to have to do is come right back because I didn't turn my air on. I'm out of air. So I've got it. I want I want to have be sure and have plenty of air. So we'll be right back. Okay, being as I'm going to be cutting the resin, I'm going to go ahead and put my mask on, even though we're outside. I'm going to put my mask on just to uh, make sure I'm not breathing too much of that stuff. All right, so I've got the router bit set at about halfway through. Uh, and I think that will work for me. Are we ready?
Wow, that makes a mess. All right, so that's our first cut. Now, I purposely stayed kind of away from the line. I'm trying to talk a little louder since I've got my mask on. I purposely stayed kind of a little bit away from that line. And now I'm going to go back at that same depth, which again is about halfway through. I just eyeballed it. And I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to that line and kind of smooth it up. Okay, that is pretty good shape. I like the way that's looking so far. Now I'm gonna, oh, by the way, I'm using the spiral upcut bit, our standard spiral upcut bit. Now I'm gonna try and set the depth to go the rest of the way through. Wow, that looks really deep. Hang on a second, I wanna check something. How deep was I? Yeah, you guys are following along with me. I, you know what? I might be making this in three cuts. Yeah. I want to make this in three cuts. So, hang with me, guys. I'm going to now set it at uh, about two-thirds of the way. I don't want to just... I don't want to take too much all in one pass. I'm going to take my time. Here we go. cut obviously was cutting pretty much all MDF no uh, resin cutting on that all right one more pass really stuck down good. <laughs> there we go. That is really stuck down. Man, that stuff sticks good. There it is. <sighs> so now let's see if we can get that tape off there. See what it looks like. Okay, something I hadn't really planned on is the adhesive from that vinyl really stuck. Uh, so I've got to take 
all of this adhesive off. I've done about oh a third of it, but I've got some more of this stuff to go. So uh, paint thinner actually works pretty well. So I'm just putting paint thinner on a rag and I'm just going to work it in and work it around and get all that adhesive off. But I'm going to do uh, almost all of it off of camera so I'm not, uh, not wasting your time. But anyway, I'm just using an old rag and paint thinner and I'm going to get all of that off there because then I want to go back and I want to trim up my edge a little bit. So I'm going to get that done and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so all I want to do now is, um, I'm not worried about this thing sliding around too much because I can kind of hold it in place. I don't have it stuck to the board now. I just want to go and I kind of want to uh, trim these edges up. This shouldn't take very much. <laughs> looking for. So we kind of just really clean that up nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the board off camera and then uh, we're going to come back and do that second pour. Alright, change of plans guys. Uh, I know this is going to come as a shock and I probably never ever said these words before but this is turning out to be a little bit more work than what I had originally planned. Uh, sarcastic obviously everything seems to be that way anyway I'm really happy with the way it's coming out so far um, I got the edge nice and smooth I really like the way it kind of looks like marble that way uh, it, it really to me I just I love this color and um, I think it's when it's all done it's gonna look like it's carved marble um, but anyway, as far as the edge goes, you can see it, it's pretty much smooth all the way around. But I've still got to paint the edge, I've got to sand the back, I've got to chamfer the back. We've still got more prep work to do before we pour. Um, so we're going to uh, carry that on to Fridays, and then Fridays we'll definitely get into the layout and hopefully the carving and let you know who this is for. I'm, uh, but I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's something obviously totally different. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you haven't subscribed yet, we would love for you to subscribe. Uh, just click that little bell icon when you subscribe so you get uh, notification. I, I hope that this video is not late, but it's running into Tuesday afternoon and I've still got a lot of um, editing and stuff to get this thing processed so we can get it up on uh, tomorrow's video, uh, which is Wednesday for you guys. So. Um, Thanks again, and uh, gosh, I'm forgetting something. I know I am. Um, oh, man, it's just crazy, crazy morning. Um, hopefully the Internet will stay up and we'll get this thing posted. So, um, oh, yeah, that's right. If you have questions, any questions, email eric at makeawoodsign.com. Do I have stuff yeah. on me? This is like... It's like I was turning like I'm uh, Peter Brown with that stuff flying all over the place. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. We will see you on Friday, and we'll get moving on this thing.